The premise of our products is that they operate in, in settings that have very strict emissions. In 2008, there was a dramatic change in the air quality regulations in Southern California. At that time, no technology can meet those new emission standards, so that's a challenge that we undertook. We succeeded, and we have now that genie in a bottle, if you will. We can now burn natural gas anywhere in the country, really anywhere in the world, and meet the regulations. In recent years, natural gas engines and reciprocating engines in general have been a technology that was becoming obsolete. And the reason for that was emissions. Uh, the emissions weren't as good as some new technologies that are more expensive that are being looked at. The weakness of the conventional emissions control process is that they try to reduce all the pollutants in a single step. We realized that we had to split the process in two such that certain types of pollutants were taken out in the first step and then we could alter conditions in the second stage to get rid of the second category of pollutants and we didn't have to compromise with either and we could get all the pollutants to almost zero levels. What is the market potential for this technology? If you go back seven years ago, ten years ago, natural gas was in short supply, it was very expensive, but that's all changed. Uh, because of uh, a greater abundance of natural gas, the price has become very low and interest in using it for power generation has gone way up. The beauty of the Ticogen technology is that it doesn't just fit our engines or our products. It has a broad, wide application that's easy to adopt to other engines of many, many types. And uh, at this time, we've, we've demonstrated our technology on General Motors engines, Ford engines, Caterpillar engines, and uh, we see no reason why it can't work on any natural gas engine natural gas reciprocating engines can now look forward to a bright future many years down the road.